Hello dear friends and welcome to my channel. It's me, dear Annie, here in the Philippines, bringing you content about Filipinas' preferences and vlogs about my beautiful country. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out of my upcoming videos. And please don't forget to check out more exclusive content on my Patreon channel. Now let's dive into today's topic. One that comes up often in a long distance relationship between Filipina and a foreigner is how much should I support her financially? And this question even more pressing because they think, is she with me for love or just because of my money? This question I always hear from my subscribers and this question is so tough but this deserves an honest answer. I've interviewed Filipina women to get their perspective that is it necessary for a foreigner to send money to his Filipina partner or is it just expected that he should support not only her but also her whole family. I am with I'm Ruby Po. Hi Ruby. I'm single or <laughs> Single. 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 Uh, yes, I am. Do you see yourself having a relationship with a foreign guys? Um, maybe soon. Oh, really? Yes. Have you tried going to dating site to look for foreigners? No. Not yet. Yes. But you're thinking about that? Yes, yes. If you're having an LDR, how much should the guy give you monthly for your allowances? Um, for me, as a student, uh, siguro, um, 30,000. 30,000? Yes. That's for your monthly? Yes. Why? What are you going to do with those 30,000? Um, of course, for my school, um, tuition, my baon, and my... Yung needs ko po. Is it um like necessary that the guy should support you financially? I no no but if want lang niya. Mm. So will you accept that guy if he gave you finan um I allowance? Know, of course money? yes. Uh, what if the guy doesn't give you allowance? It's okay. Not what is your assurance with that kind of relationship that the guy doesn't give you any financial support? Um, wala, okay lang talaga if ayaw niya. Um, I see. So what do you look forward if the guy is like that? Ma, masabi ko lang is, syempre, dapat ilove jud nila ang men because because <clears throat> I'm gonna love for nila. Gonna love for sila sa men. So dapat ilang so kli anjet og love for na through not um. Have you tried having a relationship with a foreigner or foreign countries? <laughs> um, not yet, but um, just a uh, situationship. Situationship from yeah. the word situationship. <laughs> well, that's a new word actually. Yes. Situationship. It's like the same as having a relationship, yes. right? But not um, not really totally having a yeah. um what they call this um like couple. Yes. No lang. Yeah. It's like a fling. It's like a like fling. Oh, yeah. Do you see yourself having a relationship to foreign guys? Yeah. So are you looking ready yeah. to mingle? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Like some of my subscribers is looking for you. Are you open for that yeah. relationship? Yes. So for you girls, how much they should give you monthly? Monthly? Um, it depends on them, but they're, um, for me, I will, I want to um, give them the exact amount, but it depends on them. Yeah, like, how about you, ma'am? If the foreigner gave you money monthly, how much it should be? Um, same to her, but it depends on them. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, I think, is it okay to me if they give me... Uh, Tuition fee for monthly. <laughs> um, 10K is enough for me. 10K? Yeah. Monthly? Yes, it's okay for me. It depends on them. I don't know what to do. Same to her, but I prefer 15K. <laughs> 15K. <laughs> if it's okay to them. Okay. Yeah. So if it's like that, is that for your own self spent or you're sharing to your family? Um, myself. For yourself? Yeah. Only 10K, that's yeah. for yourself. How about you? Me too. 
15k as what you said yeah only for yourself yeah yeah i see it because but sometimes uh, we filipino people we're not um like sa iba kasi na kasi para sa akin if ever man may nagbibigay i can't i can't give it ano uh, to myself lang kasi you share yeah i share it you to cannot them stop yourself to share yeah. to your loved ones your family <laughs> yes i know every relationship has its own uniqueness and yeah i just want you to know here in the philippines like if a foreigner who might not be wealthy in his home country can suddenly find himself in a much higher social standing here in the philippines that pension social security checks or savings that might not stretch up or stretch far in the west can go a long way here we know all that but that should financial status play such a significant role in the relationship well you know there is no one size that fits all the answer because as what i've said every couple has its own difference or uniqueness and i'm not saying also like some make certain um, financial arrangement that works i'm not saying everything works for this one works to another i know like saw so one of the biggest mistake of a foreigner make is they think that they buy they can buy relationship or companionship here in the philippines but not all and then one time they're gonna wonder why the relationship doesn't last well guys if you really want the real love don't waste your relationship on money that's just so simple i think in my interviews most of filipina have expressed themselves that they prefer relationship with build with respect and love and don't get me wrong if you can provide financial support that's often seen as a bonus for us but many of these filipina won't ask money outright some of them expect financial support as part of the relationship but they don't demand they don't demand it and it's like some of these women make a deal for example if you pay the food she will pay for the ride something that most of these women wants to have a balance between love and money and it's really important to set boundaries from the beginning guys you have to be clear that you're not an atm and you will weed out those who are just aftering financial gain and those men who succeed in this relationship are those who make themselves clear from the start that they're looking for love and if the filipina is not on the same track then you guys have to move on well those foreigners who find themselves trouble are usually those who who think that they can buy love sure flashing money might be get um, attention at first but it is rarely leads to a lasting connection for financial expectation every relationship has financial elements but if you find your filipina is overly focused on your wallet maybe it's time to reevaluate walk away if necessary well the best filipina are looking for genuine love not just financially security and if you really want to give something or support her financially why not and there is no appropriate amount to give it to her it's about your capacity and what feels right for both of you but before providing financial support ask yourself can you cope the responsibility or is she a high maintenance girlfriend or thus she came from a traditional family that believes men are always the providers remember these days many filipina are empowered and financially independent based on the previous videos i did but regardless of those job they have and if she asks money from you consider whether you're comfortable with that arrangement or not you know it's really important to encourage her towards financial independence rather than always relying on your support or help why not help her put up a business like sarisari store or online business if she don't have work you know you just want to support her but sometimes there are family pressure behind your back 
And it's really common in Filipino parents to pass down the financial burdens to their children, including supporting their siblings and extended family members. You know, sometimes a Filipina may be secretive about money because of this family pressure. So be honest, it's really crucial to have an open and honest conversation about this topic and expectation. But at the end of the day, involve her in a financial decision. Don't hold her as a hostage to an allowance. If you make her a partner in this decision, and you will build a strong and long-lasting relationship foundation. How can you tell if she is with you? for your love or your money well for me if she is in it for your love she'll focus more on building a future with you not on your bank account a genuine filipina will stand by your side not because of what you can give to her financially but because of what love care and respect you can offer to her as i always remember uh, say Love cannot buy or money can't buy love and happiness. And we all know about that, right? Why not? Let's just focus on building trust, mutual respect, and understanding. And if she's the right one, she will be with you for the right reason. Well, that's it for today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful videos. And I'll see you again for my next video. Once again, this is your dear Annie, and you can ask me anything and everything here in the Philippines. See you guys. Bye!